So hey everyone, welcome to another Feature Friday. So let's say you wish to control the options or the icons or pick list items that an application suite mobile app user has access to. For some reason, you don't want them to be able to perform the functions that the icons or pick list items in the mobile application represent. Do you know how to do this? I do. So let me show you what I'm talking about. So I'm logged into an application suite release 8.11, specifically the manage component, but I'm logged in as a lowly user who has access to the technician mobile application. I'm going to go ahead and open that application in a browser. But don't worry, the same is true if you are in the actual mobile application on a mobile device. Once the application settles down, let's take a look at a couple of things. Maybe the company does not wish them to be able to use the start or stop timer over here on the right hand side. Maybe also we don't wish them to be able to close the work order. Out of the box, if I go to the work order status, I have a closed option here on the list. These are just a couple of the many options that you can grant or not to a user to have access to in the different mobile applications. All right, so let's switch gears and let's log into that instance of Manage as an administrator. So we obviously are going to do this through security. I'm going to manage two security groups. And I've already built a security group for this particular purpose. So I'm going to open up my lowly technician security group and I'm going to go to the applications tab just like any other application and open that up and come over here and filter for the technician application. It's one way to get there. And I go ahead and choose the technician application. Now, as you already know, since this is a mobile application, there's a couple things you have to do to give people access. So one is, is to simply grant them access so they can at least see the application. Then your next step, of course, is to come over here to Actions and apply the security templates. For each mobile application, there is a single security template that is available. And here it is. And in my case, I've already gone up here to Actions, and I've already applied that template. So the question is, once you've applied that template, is there anything you can or need to do to refine or adjust what you just granted the user to? That'll be the next step. At this point, once the template has been applied, just simply click OK. Alrighty, so once you've done that, we can take our next big step. Go back to the Actions icon, and you'll see a menu item here called Object Structure Authorizations. This dialog shows you, for this application, each of the MX API object structures that the mobile applications are communicating with. Underneath each one of these object structures, there will be options that you can grant the user access to or take them away. So if I just choose the very first one here on the list, and you can see there's 23 MX API object structures that the technician application talks to. If I just choose the first one on the list, I roll down and I see my very familiar delete, insert, read, and save options just like the traditional apps. If you roll down further, and in this case there are none, there may be other options here to grant access to. But since I'm so smart, I know a couple things about one of these object structures. I'm going to go ahead and page down just one step here. And I'm going to aim for the MX API woe detail. And there it is right there, MX API Woe Detail. I'm going to go ahead and select that. 
and I'm going to roll down, and there's my familiar delete, insert, read, and saves, but look down here. I have 36 other options that I can grant or not access to a user. You'll notice these options look rather familiar to those that are in the traditional work order tracking application. Obviously, the mobile apps have many fewer options than the work order tracking app does over on the traditional side. Let's go ahead and filter for what we're looking for here. And I'm going to filter for timer. Hit enter. And you can see that the start timer and stop timer options, they've been turned off. I've previously turned these off. Uh, but by default, they are turned on. And then secondarily, I want to look at close. So I just filter for close. And I can see that the option to close work orders, by default, it is turned on. But in my situation, I have simply turned it off. Make the changes you want to make for each of the object structures and the options that the user may or may not have. And when you're done, click OK. And don't forget, very important, if you need to, save the security group. All right, but here's a couple of notes. You must make sure that in any other security group that the user is a member of, including Max Everyone, make sure these options are not granted. And also don't forget that for these security changes to take effect, especially for those that you're going to make in Max Everyone to turn those options off, all users that are in that group, which is everyone, will also need to at least log out and log back in again for them to take effect. All right, so now let's go back to that mobile technician application and see what the user is able to do. So over on the right hand side, our goal was to prevent them from using the start work icon. So click on that and see what happens. User gets a system message that basically says you are not authorized to perform that action. That's what we wanted. They have no choice but to click X. Our other goal was to turn off close for the work orders. So I go over here to the right for the status, choose that icon. I can certainly see close as a pick list item. I will choose that. Come up to the top to actually save that transaction. And when I do that, I get a system message. It's a little different, but it's the same idea, is I do not have the security privilege to perform that action. All they can do is close that out and go back to where they were. Cool. Mission accomplished. Okay, so yes, it is true that the icons, the selections, the options, and everything else that you've turned off from a security standpoint are still exposed on the mobile application. Hiding those elements uh, based upon security logic or other logic uh, will require some material changes to the mobile applications. But at the very least, you're able to prevent users from doing things in the mobile apps, like closing work orders, uh, that you generally do not have users do. Anyway, hopefully that was helpful. See you next Friday.